Congregation Simhat Torah, or CBST, is the world's largest LGBT synagogue. It recently moved into a beautiful new building down the street from the Empire State Building and celebrated their chief rabbi's 25th anniversary with Secretary Hillary Clinton, but the synagogue and its older congregants remember a humbler time. I was saying things like to my mother, one day there'll be a gay synagogue and I'm going to go there. Well, of course, there wasn't one, and she would say, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So it was my mother in 1973 that read a little paragraph. So she said, Ricky, I thought you were Meshigah, but there is a gay synagogue, so get dressed and go to shul. The community that, that those, those first people built um, was a very, very close-knit community, and it expanded pretty rapidly. Um, they were finding with each other uh, Jewish life and home and community that they simply could not find anywhere else. In 1982, an immunological disease, later known as AIDS, crept quietly through CBST's congregation before spreading like wildfire. And their family had no idea that they were gay until all of a sudden they were admitted to the hospital or until they're, you know, they were called to pick up a body. My own friends all started passing away. Um, so where the synagogue lost about a hundred people and you can see their names on that uh, Besides synagogue people all my other friends passed away and um, Some of them wouldn't tell me that they had HIV and committed suicide instead um, Other people I uh, Asked me if I would hold their hand one of our roles is making sure that the important moments in their lives are also being marked there's a tradition, in Jewish tradition, that if somebody is very ill, um, that you change their name so that it like, you know, fools the angel of death. We are Jewish New York City college students and recent graduates. We're beginning to discover the beauty of CBST. At the entrance of the building, there's um, this rainbow flag and some beautiful gold lettering. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it says, but... Um, it's a really welcoming place. Um, everyone kind of greets you when you walk in, whether they know you or not. This, oh my god. I had never seen this before. The, what they do to do hamotzi is one person has their hand on the hala, and then everyone has, is like, has their hand on someone else. And then like, there are higher floors, and they like have talit going from the top floor to the bottom floor that you hold on to, to like, Pass the hollow through you, so you like you like touch people next to you, and, like get to know people next to you, um, and that was just so nice. Kind of a thing in uh, many religious spaces, but people have heteronormative ideas, I think, about because religion is kind of centered around family a lot of the time. People have the assumption that a family is like a man and a woman and a child, um, when that's not always the case. Growing up in, in New Jersey and like a suburban Jewish community where like no one was really queer. I had just come home, I think this was the weekend after like 4th of July, and I'd just come home from like a 4th of July party with, with my family friends back home. And they're all Jewish, and I'm thinking like everyone here is like straight, and I started to formulate this idea in my mind that it was like a trade-off between like having a Jewish upbringing for, for the children I might have one day, and having like a queer family, like like chosen family, um, and I was like really sad for a few weeks because like I I didn't want to have to choose. I really loved growing up Jewish and like in a small close knit Jewish community, but I also like know that there isn't a presence and a, a visibility for for queer people in that community. Um, and then when I went to CBST, I started crying. I saw queer Jews of all ages. There was like, there were some young families. There was like a, two dads with a baby behind me and the baby was so cute. And it just like made me so happy and knew that I could have that one day. And I am just very proud that over the 40, almost 45 years that CBSC is in existence, how much we've grown and how much we have become a gay or LGBT synagogue.